Hi everyone. Happy Wednesday. We'll wait just a few minutes and let some of you hop on with us here. Evie's still sleeping in the background. <laughs> totally disinterested. <laughs> Taking a little afternoon nap. It's a hard life. <laughs> it's a, tr a tough life. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> well, like I said, I got a five-year-old son, and he just, ch they chase each other around. They have such a good time together, so. Oh. Hey, Angel, Christy, exciting, talking about blankets today, <laughs> and my dog. <laughs> yes. Margaret, hi there. I always love when people post pictures of their animals too. That's my that's my favorite. It gets completely off topic, but <laughs> I want to see pet pictures. <laughs> Did you hear that, everyone? <laughs> want to see pet pictures? <laughs> There's a good group here already. Oh yeah, Nicole from Maine. She is bracing for the cold weather. Yeah. She's ready for it. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right, everyone. Um, we have a special guest with us today. Jess is with us um, from Weather Beta, and she is going to talk about fall blanketing tips. Uh, so if you have any questions, please make sure you get those in the comments uh, or just post a photo of your pet um, or just <laughs> tell us hi and let us know where you're watching from today. Um, at the end of this segment, one lucky viewer is going to take home a pretty sweet little prize. Um, they are going to take home their choice of the Comfitech Essential Western Print Standard Neck Horse Blanket, and they can, are going to get to pick between Black Western, that's the Black Western there, or Western Tool. That one's hard to see, but it's pretty. It's yeah, it's, it's tough to see, but you know on that one, picture a very pretty Western saddle with gorgeous tooling on it. And that's kind of what we've recreated on that blanket. So um, it's gorgeous. Uh, we have such a good time as a team. Because actually, it's it's a lot of the sales team that get together and go through patterns every year to uh, to mine ideas. In fact, I have a PowerPoint presentation that says ideas, like pattern ideas for the bank. Um, so uh, that that one made it in this year. We're really excited about it. The, the Western prints are, are a real joy to put together just because you can be really fun and creative with it. Um, but we have some other great prints as well. Uh, we do have a sloth print this year too. So everybody take a look on Valley Vets website because they do carry a full breadth of all of the fun patterns in the Weather Beta Comfy Tech Essential. So um, yeah, it looks like we have a lot of people joining in from very cold weather places. Um, again, the lady said, my name is Jessica. So my name is Jessica Manson and I've been working with Weather Beta for 15 years now. Um, actually yesterday was my birthday, so I just turned 39 and I started with the company at what? 20, well, I'm going to have to do math here. It's 23, I believe. Wow. So uh, I was really, uh, I was really young, much younger than I am now. Um, but yeah, so I started with the company. It's a great company to work for, obviously, or I wouldn't have stayed for 15 years. Thank you everybody <laughs> for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. I need it. My last year of the thirties. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, next year would be a different story. <laughs> Not to get off topic, but uh, I just had my gallbladder removed. And my husband was <laughs> joking last week, right? So I was joking with my husband and he's like, yeah, you know, I would say like 40, you know, everything's downhill from there. And he's like, but, you, you know, I think you're a little ahead of the game. <laughs> so maybe it's all up from here, you know? There you <laughs> go. Let's hope. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Think positive. <laughs> But uh, so today, you know, we're going to talk about blankets and why you would blanket your horse and what questions to ask when you're choosing a blanket. Um, and then also, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I, I wanted to mine some ideas on how to tell what the weather is going to be like. So we were talking prior to everybody jumping on, um, 
about the Farmer's Almanac and just all of these little wives or tales that um, people utilize to tell what the weather is going to be for the winter. And one of them, and one of the girls was telling me about this at work, she was saying that, so this is a persimmon seed, and that from the shape of the persimmon seeds, you can tell whether or not it's going to be a very cold winter. And supposedly, it's going to be an extremely cold winter based on persimmon seeds. And one of the ladies at Valley Vets was mentioning that uh, the caterpillars, right, those fuzzy caterpillars um, and determining the color. So if anybody else has any really unique suggestions on how to tell what the weather's gonna be for the winter, I'd love to know. And please tell me it's gonna be cold because blankets are our passion here. And when somebody tells me that it's gonna be cold, wet and snowy, I get extremely pumped. So <laughs> tell me all your secrets. Um, so three of the things that we're gonna talk about and I'm gonna be in addressing in detail is like I said, how do you choose a blanket? What questions do you ask to choose a blanket? So you're going to want to look at warmth level. And this is going to be dependent on uh, the type of horse that you have. Is it an elderly horse? Do you clip your horse? How often is your horse turned out? Obviously, what's the weather in your area? Um, staying dry. Obviously, you want your horse to stay dry. All of our blankets are waterproofed. Um, so that's important. And they're breathable as well. So uh, I'm going to go through something actually unique that I learned this year about polyfill um and uh and what it does um and and why it's important other than keeping your horse warm because the polyfill is basically uh what you see in stuffed animals or what you would see stuffed in your coat um as the as the fibers that actually help to insulate um and keep your heat in uh oh oh here wait here's a good tip when the horses when the horses start growing their winter coats true and uh Angel, you watch the goats and the horse's hair, and that'll tell you. What is it telling you now? Tell me what it's telling you now. <laughs> what are they growing? Oh, by how many acorns drop? Lots of acorns mean heavier winter. Kelly, how many acorns have dropped so far? Are there a lot or are there a little? Is it going to be a garbage winter? Tell me. Got to know. Um, and then fit and comfort. So obviously, you want to make sure that you measure your horse properly. So we'll go through measuring. I showed the ladies this little gem. <laughs> we'll go through how to measure on this beautiful Briar horse. Um, this is this is the only horse I own for right now. Um, after I had my son, I, I rehomed my my one mare, so uh, she'd get more attention than I could give her. So this is this is my horse. Um, so how to fit on the Briar, and uh, the fit also ensures that your horse is turned out safely because if you've got things hanging off. Um, your horse could potentially go down, roll, get caught in it, um, and you know, a bevy of of bad things could could happen to your to your baby. Oh, the number of black fuzzy caterpillars. Mm hmm. Harvesting nuts. Yeah, yeah. And how spookier they are. There was, about, there was one about hornets' nests on there. Um, the lower to the ground they are, the less snow, and the higher more snow that's huh. interesting. i'd never heard that before i've never heard that before either we go by. plus i also don't know what happens to hornets in the winter do they hibernate i'm gonna get i th <laughs> i don't know yep not an expert <laughs> so i don't know snow. i've never heard that either oh and kaylin wants to know how she wins oh just by commenting yep you just comment let us know you're watching and we choose randomly through that Perfect, Kaylin. So you're entered. Sounds like you're already entered. That's going to be Okay. So uh, a couple of the products that Valley Vet carries that I'll kind of focus on what the features are there are the Weather Beta Comfy Tech Essential. So they carry it in a standard neck and a medium weight and a heavy weight. So we talked about some of the fun patterns and the fun colors available there. And that's going to be a really price conscious uh, blanket for you. So that's another question I guess you'd ask, you know, how much do I want to spend on this? Um, how durable do I need this to be? Is my horse a jerk? Um, is he going to go out there and uh, destroy his blanket immediately? So either I spend a lot of money on a 1680 denier blanket that's going to be a lot stronger and maybe last for a few seasons, or am I going to spend a little money um, and let him trash it and buy another one next year? You know, Or is my horse an angel out there 
Therefore, all I need is a 1200D, uh, a, a simple type blanket, and uh, he'll go out there and he'll keep it for you know 10 years. So that's also another question you want to ask yourself. Um, but the essential is fantastic. So it is um, a fabulous uh, 1200D blanket. It's going to be, um, like I said, 1200D. I'm going to show you a piece of fabric. So this is the fabric for our, our dynamic. This is also a 1200D fabric. It's a diamond weave fabric that you see there. And then we're also going to have a more traditional weave. So the essential is going to have a weave like this. So if you can see the little boxes, that's going to be a more of a traditional weave in a 1200 denier fabric. And what denier actually means, it's pretty much the strength of the fabric. Some people get it confused with the weight. They think that if it's 1680, it's a, it's a heavier weight blanket. The fabric might be a little bit heavier, but the weight is actually the grammage that goes in, the polyfill gram that goes into the blanket. Um, so when you're looking at this and we say ripstop as well, you're gonna notice that these little squares are very defined by the, um, oh my God, what's funny now? <laughs> Brandy's comment, Brandy's comment with, comment with the emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Is his pastor made a jerk? <laughs> basically. Yeah, basically. I guess so. Yeah, so right. Br Brandy's going to need a higher denier, is basically what's <laughs> happening here. You might want to look at a 1680. <laughs> And yes, Jesse, I'll answer questions about warranties and, and care and, and everything. So uh, no problem. Keep your questions coming. We'll, we'll get there. But what I want you to see on this fabric, basically, is you can see the reinforced stitching in the square pattern. So when we say rip stop material, that's what's going to stop the rip. Um, so if this gets snagged on something and it rips down, um, it's going to catch on some of these reinforced stitches here. So it's not going to rip all the way through, hopefully, unless uh, you have Brandy's horse, who's a turd uh, <laughs> and, and a bad boy out in the field. So, And then, like I said, you also have a 1200D that's going to look a little bit different. So the dynamic is the other blanket that I'm going to talk about, which is a little bit more feature rich and a little bit more expensive, but worth some of the features that are in it. Um, and this one, you can see it, it's going to be a little bit stronger just because the reinforcement in the stitching on the fabric is more in this interlocking pattern and kind of a little bit beefier if you can if you can see that and then when we talk about the waterproofing sometimes your fabric's going to get a little saturated on the exterior because our waterproofing and i cut it open just for you people <laughs> the waterproofing is actually going to be on the interior of the blanket and this is going to be the lining. So I wanted to kind of show you the 210T uh, Oxford lining. And what this is, it's like a nylon. Um, and it's going to keep your horse's coat nice and shiny as well and kind of kind of uh, slick down a bit. So that is also a nice feature. But when we're talking about denier, the higher the number, the stronger the blanket is actually going to be, which is why I continue uh, to mention 1680D. Um, so we have a 1680D blanket that is uh, ballistic nylon, Teflon coated. It sounds like it is um, bulletproof uh, when you hear about ballistic and nylon and all this stuff. Um, it's, pre it's pretty strong. What's cool about it, though, is, like I said, it has that Teflon coating on it. And what that does is if your, uh, if your horse decides they have an itchy tush um, and they want to rub up against a nail or something on the fence, the Teflon is actually going to allow that fabric to slide off rather than catch on whatever your horse has rubbed their uh, their side or their butt on or whatever it is. And uh, it, it helps to preserve the fabric a little bit. So that's another reason why it's one of our tougher blankets. So we do have a couple of blankets in that 1680D category called the, uh, the Comfy Tech, the Weatherbeat Comfy Tech Cozy and the Weatherbeat Comfy Tech Tough. Um, so th those are really great options for your, uh, as we call them, wreckers. Um, but again, I want to focus on some of the things that Valley Vet does carry. Um, so going back to the Computech Dynamic. Um, so the Dynamic is very feature rich and uh, it's a really great price point for all the features that you're getting. It's in that 1200 
D triple weave fabric that I kind of showed you before right here. So it's going to be a, a pretty strong fabric and it runs anywhere from $169.95 to $224.95 um, dependent on the style that you're going to get. It'll come in a range of styles um, and polyfills. So it'll come in a standard neck light, which will have no polyfill. Anytime we say light, it means no polyfill, which means that it's really made for, it's like a raincoat, right? It's a raincoat for your horse. Um, and staying dry is half the battle of staying warm. Um, and then it'll go all the way up to, uh, to a heavyweight, which is 360 grams of polyfill. Um, but what Valley Vet carries is the standard neck uh, medium weight, which is a 220 gram polyfill uh, sheet. And when I say or a blanket, and when I say standard neck, it doesn't have the neck neck piece. So we'll have things called a combo neck, which is a neck piece that is attached um, to the body of the blanket. We'll also have something called a detach a neck, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, it's got a detachable hood um, on a uh, a standard neck body. And then the standard neck, no hood, no combo, just a very simple hood. Uh, looks like we have a lot of questions here. Should we go through some of the questions first? Yes, um, there were several questions about washing um, <clears throat> hair, what you suggest. Yep, so uh, do not wash it with a regular detergent. A lot of times we suggest a, a gentle detergent, something you might wash your baby's clothes in or, you know, um, wools or whatever. So you can use it in a front loading washing machine. Um, you would wash it. A lot of times we'll put it in a bag. Actually, we, we do have a really great video for this, which I'll, I'll share with, uh, with Valley Vet after that. And maybe they can, they can post it um, so everybody can see it. But usually you'll put it in like a mesh bag and then put it in the wash. And then when you take it out, you dry it. Do not put it in the dryer. It will deteriorate the um, the waterproofing that's on the blanket, and you don't you don't want that to happen because then you kind of have a relatively useless blanket. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Um, at some point, you can re-waterproof. If you, I've talked to a lot of people, and they've had blankets for upwards of ten years. In fact, I still have blankets stored um, from Weatherbeat that have last lasted forever. Um, so you can read waterproof at some point. I actually have never had to do that, but I know other people have. Um, I'd probably at that point take it to a professional um, blanket repair person. So what else do we have? In, unless there's any more questions on that. Um, I think you answered the one about the water, waterproofing. Someone had asked if there was any special maintenance yeah. to re-waterproof. Yep. Uh, suggestions for rewaterproofing. I see Melanie has that there. We don't really give brands and, and whatnot that we we like to utilize for rewaterproofing. Um, but again, I, I probably would recommend taking it to a, a blanket repair person who does this professionally and can make sure that they're using products that um, that they know are tried and true and work. Can you replace the straps on these blankets? You can, um, so that's also really good news. Usually they have two D-rings on either side um, and we do sell the replacement straps as well. I believe it's something that Valley Vet does carry. And yes, he pulls the straps off of every blanket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when you have those straps, uh, Shannon, I'm not insinuating that you do not adjust the straps properly, um, but it's one of the points that I wanted to make when we went to fitting as well. So yes, all of our blankets have leg straps on them if that's something that you guys really like to use you, you want to make sure that they fit snugly enough not to rub on your horse's leg but also um not enough to get caught when they go to roll um so that they could uh they could have injury okay. uh brenda had asked um about getting a fall temperature blanket versus a winter temperature blanket she says she has a winter one what would you suggest for the fall for the fall, um, depends on the, what's the temperature? So if it's the fall like here, if it's 50 degrees, um, we actually have lights, like I mentioned before. So if it's really just, you know, trying to keep your horse out of the wind and the rain, um, a light would be a good option. We also have something called a, a 50 gram. At, at, it's, a, it's a plus, it's, a, it's called a light plus. Um, so it has 50 grams of polyfill in it. And um, I used to go, why would you buy a blanket with 50 grams of polyfill? Like, what is that doing? 
Well, I have colleagues in the UK that explain to me what this does, because as you know, the UK, it's really rainy, it's kind of chilly. It's like 50 degrees and raining all the time there, right? So they get a lot of condensation when they put a lightweight sheet on. So they'll put the lightweight sheet on, warm horse, cold exterior, and you've got this sheet laying relatively close to the horse's skin. So people were complaining that they their horse was getting wet or the blanket was leaking. And basically what that was, was exactly what would happen to you know, a glass. You put cold liquid in it, you have warmth on the exterior and you'd get condensation. Um, so that was what was going on. So they decided to put 50 grams of polyfill in the sheet. And what that does is create a little loft between your horse's skin and the exterior of the blanket so that it can actually breathe better and not create that condensation that is really just a natural occurrence of what would go on, you know, in, in nature. Oh, what was the other question? What are you guys, what are you guys chatting about? Um, I don't think you answered this. Melanie had asked back straps crossed or not. She's always crossed them, but things change. You know, Melanie, if you like to cross them, that's fine. If you don't like to cross them, that's fine as well. Um, I actually always, I always crossed mine as well. And it never seemed to, uh, to be an issue as long as everything was properly adjusted. So that's a really good question. That's a good question. Okay. We had several questions about um, warranty. Yeah, I've got, uh, I've got Nicole who uh, repair kit. Unfortunately, we do not have a repair kit. Again, I, if you have a, a really good repair lady in your area, that's always a good go-to for me. Uh, what else? Oh, the uh, the warranty. So we do warranty our blankets. We have a great warranty on them. So it's a three-year warranty. It uh, it covers waterproofing, breathability, and the hardware on the blanket. All all of the things that could potentially go wrong. I'm going to be honest. We don't get a whole lot of blankets back for warranty issues, but when we hear of them, we usually immediately replace it. Um, but waterproofing. It is exactly what it sounds. If you if you find that your blanket is no longer waterproof and you've been caring for it properly, so as long as you haven't put it in the dryer or washed it with some harsh detergent that's going to wear away, um, wear away the waterproofing that we utilize on our blankets, uh, we'll cover it. The breathability is kind of a similar thing. Um, if you find that your horse is sweating in their blanket, as long as you've chosen the proper blanket and you're not turning your horse out you know, in 60 degree weather with a heavyweight blanket on, it's, you know, 360 uh, grams of polyfill, then your horse probably shouldn't be sweating under the blanket, which means there's an issue with the breathability, which means we will also warranty that for you and replace your blanket if there's a problem. And then of course the hardware. Um, so on the essential um, and the dynamic, so the dynamic has the, the double adjustable um, buckle with a quick clip front closure. So you've got several points of adjustability there. If any of that goes wrong um, or breaks, we will replace it for you. And then the essential has a double buckle in the front that's fully adjustable as well. And again, if any of that goes wrong, happy to replace it for you as well. Um, same thing with the surcingles. Uh, so those two blanket styles that I mentioned do have low cross surcingles that are adjustable. Um, and if those T-clip closures are a problem, or they rip off somehow, or I don't know what kind of crazy stuff could go on um, because horses be crazy um, out in the field. Uh, you know, we'll 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 fix that for you. What other questions do we have? Um, Reinforce the straps or stronger straps. Um, that's really interesting, Shannon. So I will bring that to the product team. Uh, we do reinforce the stitching on a lot of the points of our blankets. Um, so anywhere where there's like a, a, a gusset on our blanket, we'll reinforce the stitching there so that it doesn't, it doesn't come apart easily because obviously you have very large animals um, wearing, wearing coats out in the field um, with lots of stuff that they could get stuck on. So we try to make sure that, that we think of all of the ways that a horse could destroy a blanket and then how to prevent that from happening so that you don't have to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars every year uh, to make sure your little baby is uh, dry and comfortable. Um, Patty asked if you could talk about the belly band. She said, I've never got a belly band because I was always concerned about the horse getting caught up in it when they lay down a roll. 
Okay, uh, so we do have one style with a belly band. We have the ultra cozy, so that's gonna be our most expensive. And technically it's not a belly band. Um, so I know a few other blanket brands will have something that literally like comes across, Velcros to the side or adjusts to the side. The belly band that we have in the ultra cozy, which again is our most feature rich blanket, it really is the way that the blanket is cut. So the fabric is cut on either side like this. And then when you go to adjust it with the surcingles, it comes across so that you get full coverage, but it's not necessarily a belly band that goes fully across. Um, this is just easier for washing in general. And it, it's just a, a fit that we found is um, a little bit more comfortable and easier to adjust for, for horses. Do the detachable hoods cause more water to get in between hood and blanket? Kathy, that's also a good question. Um, we try actually to prevent that with some of the features that we have in our higher end blankets as well. So I mentioned the cozy and the tough, which are those 1680D fabrics. And we have something called a cozy guard on it, which is so cool. It's actually, I, that and the wither relief are my favorite features that we have in our blankets because they're so unique. But the cozy guard um, has the hood and then it has Velcro on the chest. So the hood comes down, Velcros down to the chest so that you don't get that gaping that you would get in some of our other blankets. So you will get gaping in some of our other blankets dependent on the price point, just because you know the, the more feature rich a blanket is, the more expensive it's gonna be. Um, but we don't find that that gaping actually causes a lot of issues with, um, with moisture getting in between, although I can, I can see that it would be a problem at, at some points, depending on the kind of weather that you know you're protecting your horse against. Okay. Uh, Nicole had asked if you make a smaller neck. She has a donkey as well, and super hard to fit. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> so we do. So we do carry. You know what? We do carry uh, separate neck rugs. Um, so you can purchase them separately and get something smaller. I don't know how big your donkey is, but I know they're probably pony size. Uh, we also have a pony blanket. I'm sorry. So we do have a pony blanket. Um, it's uh, it's the Freedom, it's the Premier Freedom Pony range, and it's specifically cut for ponies. So you can get other blankets, um, even in our line, that are smaller sizes, but they're not necessarily specifically cut to fit a pony shape. This one is. Oh my. <laughs> like how Brianna came up big. Whoa, wait, with a relief. <laughs> yes, Brianna, <laughs> with a relief. Um, so we do have something called with a relief and it's two pads. So if you, if you flip over your blanket, you're on the other side of your blanket, it's two pads on either side of where your horse's wither would be. And uh, they're made either of foam or uh, memory foam actually if uh, it's dependent on the, the blanket style that you've chosen. And what it does is obviously if you have, you know, a shark fin uh, thoroughbred or whatever, it helps to lift the blanket up off the withers a bit so it fits more comfortably. But also what it does, and we found this over the years, is it helps to stabilize the blanket on the horse's back um, so that the fit is actually improved with the wither relief. Very cool. Very cool. What Huge side high withers. For ponies, size range for ponies. I think it went from thirty-six to sixty-nine. So teeny tiny, to you know, uh, right? I had a, a fifteen-hand uh, quarter horse Arab uh, gelding, and he was a size sixty-nine. Um, so it just it all depends. Oh, Melissa likes the wither wither relief. She's I like it too. She's a huge fan. Two shark fins. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Ooh, who wants to see my fitting demonstration? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> okay. Got to see this. <laughs> yeah, we all need to see this. Um, so you want to, you, know, you want to take a soft um, fabric measuring with something that you would measure your your waist or or whatever with um, that you've got here. So you've got the measuring tape. You're gonna take your pony, and this is gonna be a challenge, but you're gonna measure from the widest point here of the shoulder, 
there it is right with the little white point here i should have had my son in the background vanna whiting for me you know <laughs> um it would have been distracting for everybody because he hates wearing clothes <laughs> I would have had to convince him that he needs to wear clothes for this. Even it's it's 60 degrees outside. It's cold in our house. The kid runs around half naked. I don't know. And then you're going um, around to, unfortunately, you know, he has his an Andalusian, right? He's got his, he's got his tail up a bit, but you're going to come around um, the point of the buttock and you're going to look towards the middle of the tail there, like in the middle of the dock. So that's what it's going to be. And then when you measure that, it looks like, and I'm going to give a little bit, he's going to be an eight inch blanket. Um, so <laughs> it's going to be an eight inch blanket. We don't carry those, unfortunately, but we do carry 10 inch dog rugs. <laughs> that might work. <laughs> that might work on him. It might work. <laughs> oh, man. So that's how you measure and all of this information is on uh, is on the website too. And if it's not on Valley Vets website, I'll make sure that it gets on there as well. You know, Justina, I don't know if you're joking or <laughs> you're being facetious, <laughs> or do you really just like briar horses? Could uh, be. You know, we we all like briar horses. Um, but all of the warranty information too. So all of the measurements, we have measurement videos, we have warranty information. We have that on our website. I know Valley Vet has a lot of the information on their website as well. Um, so you can, you can read about it all there. And, um, if you have a warranty issue and you've purchased your blanket through Valley Vet or another retailer that carries our products, you go through that retailer. If you have a warranty problem. Patty asked if you could talk about the recycling on the blankets that Weatherbeta is doing. Yes. So we have the Green Tech blanket. Um, so we have the, the Weatherbeta Comfy Tech Green Tech. Um, and what it is, is it's a blanket completely, almost completely. Um, I think the binding is not recycled material, but the blanket is made um, almost completely out of uh, recycled material. It's the um, single use um plastic bottles that it's made out of and i want to say it's like off the top of my head i think it's like 340 plastic bottles that go into making the average size of a size of like a 75 or 78 blanket um and even the polyfill now is made of the recycled material so very cool um worth worth having a look at especially you know all of us are i think a little bit more environmentally charged right now all of us finding ways on how to reuse um, certain household products. In fact, you know, yeah. I've actually started reusing um, bags, plastic bags that normally would be a single use and you throw away. I wash them now. I know one of my colleagues does the same thing. Um, so we're all finding ways to try to reduce our carbon footprint. Um, and that's one of the ways that Weatherbeta has, uh, has attempted to do so with our blanket line. Um, Sam asked, he said he learned to measure middle of the chest to middle of the butt. He said, what does the widest part of the shoulder mean? Are you going clear around to the front or the side? Yeah, you're going, you're going to the front. Okay. Here we go. And around like that. And uh, I think somebody asked, um, should they measure up? Um, Honestly, so our blankets are measured in increments of three. That's a tough one. Um, usually I would probably say due to the closest inch um, because you don't want it to be overhanging your horse, right? You don't want a lot of fabric to be just kind of, you know, flapping about um, as your horse is turned out just because it's more fabric to get caught on stuff. It's more fabric for your horse to get caught up in. Um, so you want it to fit, not snugly, but you know, you want it to fit as close as, as possible to the measurement that you, you've come up with. Uh, someone had just, sorry, it popped off there. There it is. Cassidy says, do you make a quarter horse fit? Her quarter horse is big <laughs> and some blankets fit weird due to his big muscle build. Oh, come on. I like, like a brick house. Yeah. Brick I know house. she wanted to put another word in between yeah. brick and house, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so we don't have a quarter horse fit, but we try to make sure that our, our blankets fit a variety of different horses. And I would say the essential is the best. Um, it's funny because I was, I was talking with one of, our, uh, one of our other retailers too, who had asked this specific question. They were looking to make recommendations. 
and uh, they they had found that the essential is the you know fits the, the largest variety of horses as well. So um, it's it's accommodating within the shoulder with the traditional side gusset that it has. What else we got? Um, this is for you guys, so I'm happy to answer all the questions. Um, Pat said, I live in Southern Arizona and it doesn't get too cold here. What blanket would be best suited for our area when we do get a cold snap? It doesn't last very long though. Uh, Pat, probably a standard neck. It doesn't seem like you would need something with some huge hood. Um, I would recommend a medium weight that usually will cover a variety of different temperatures. Um, so a medium weight is 220 grams of polyfill. Oh, Nikki, thank you for, for sharing your experience. So Nikki says, her experiences go down if the blanket is in between the sides. They have a great fit. Thank you. Yep. Paula asked about replacement straps. We do have those. We do. Um, so we've got the replacement leg straps. Um, we also have replacement surcingles. Same, same, same. Did we not cover other things? Uh, cost. What was the cost range again? I know you said it once, but it cost. Was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I'm just bringing up my little sheet here just to make sure I'm speaking the truth, you know. Uh, so the essentials. So I'm talking about it can range from a light to a heavyweight. So between those ranges um, and the combo necks and whatever, it's 109.95 to 154.95. So if you're looking for a really nice blanket that's going to be very durable um, in a 1200D, and it's got it's got nice features. It's got a traditional side gusset. It's got the double buckle front closure for adjustability, the low cross or singles, and the leg straps that are removable and replaceable. Um, that's going to be your best uh, your best price point, and I would say the, the value for the money is there. The dynamic is really good though too, because if you want something with that reliver, that wither, that reliver relief, um, that wither relief, uh, you're gonna go with the dynamic. The plus dynamic has the wither relief. It has that triple weave, I'll show it to you again, that triple weave 1200 denier. It's got the easy on off plus the double buckle uh, front closure. So it's double buckle with the quick clips. So you're gonna have um, an easy time getting your, your blanket off. You've got the leg straps and the double uh, low cross or single as well. Um, Brianna asked, biggest, longest size for the neck? Biggest, longest size, we carry warm blood. Um, so the warm, the warm blood should, I don't have the exact measurements on it, but if you wanted to buy the separate neck piece, you would get the, the warm blood size for you. If we send our own water bottles, can we get a discount? Oh my God. I, I love your customers because they have <laughs> fabulous sense of the They are fun. <laughs> and a question that I would ask myself, in fact. Well, Melanie um, asked about measuring for how to measure for our dog's neck to tail base. Yes. I know this isn't a dog, but kind of, uh, you know, I can show it. Yep. So, yes, the base of the neck to the base of the tail is how you're going to measure your dog. Evie back here. Evie. <laughs> Evie, wake up, girl. No? Okay. Um, she doesn't Evie, want to be a model. Uh, Evie is a 16 inch. Um, so she's kind of a, a mixed breed kind of wire hair terrier. Um, and she, Evie, come here, come here. Aww. This is your time to shine, girl. <laughs> oh, we get we got a big stretch happening down here. She's got a warm up. Well, she's. She's itching her face. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here she is. Oh, live demonstrate. She's shy. Aww. She's shy. But here's the base of her neck. I know you can't see it because it's tough. And her butt's all down here. There you go. And there's your tush. Here's your tush. So from here to here. While well, she's not curled up. Hanging her head. Oh, yeah. oh, what a, a little unkempt right now. A little unkempt. She's actually currently got one of our collars on. Look at this. Looking smoking hot. Nice, nice. <laughs> Do all of your blankets come with the rings to attach the neck wrap? Yes. Um, so they'll come, they'll come with the D's. Whoops. There we go. All right, beat it. Okay. 
And what else? <laughs> do you do you have a great Dane size in the dog blankets, or would that be under pony? <laughs> So our dog blankets go up to a 32, but yeah, you probably, uh, you probably could do a pony. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm going to show you something because I've got samples and I almost want to, I almost want to send Kayla a sample. So bear with me because I have a fun <laughs> little pony blanket that we're coming out with next spring. So. You guys get a sneak preview. Oh, hold out. So I think this is a 36 inch. Kayla, does that work? For your dinosaur <laughs> of a dog. <laughs> that one's going to be in the Saxon brand. So uh, if, if any of you didn't know this, uh, Weather Vita also produces the Saxon brand of blankets. Um, and Saxon is very cool because uh, it's a price conscious blanket. And the big difference there is, you know, it's going to have some basic features on it. And it's also going to be cut, for the most part, uh, six inches shorter than a normal normal weather beta would be in the drop. Um, although we do have the Saxon Defiant, which is going to be a pretty generous cut for a Saxon and a really great price point. Hey, Sam asks, how do you know what kind of attachment that necks have? I have one with D-clips and one that has Velcro type. So if you buy a detachable neck from us, it is going to have the Velcro. So if you buy it already with the detachable neck, it will have the Velcro. Um, if you buy it and it's a standard neck, it will come with the D-rings in case you'd like to purchase the detachable neck to go along with it. Okay. Well, Kayla's going to measure. Yeah. I need Kayla's information. <laughs> because if I give Kayla that sample, she's got to take pictures of her dinosaur dog in it. <laughs> with the dinosaur blanket. <laughs> and then she's got to post them on Valley Vet and Weather Beat Us. <laughs> yes, yes, for all the stipulations. Yeah. Are the pony ones a little shorter? I have minis that are short and blankets almost go to the ground. Tammy, yes. Um, so the Premier Freedom Pony range, that one is going to be cut specifically for ponies. So it is going to be cut a bit shorter because exactly like you said um they're shorter you know <laughs> we have suggestions for the dinosaur blanket <laughs> put some, put some <laughs> arms, arms on the side of the blanket halloween <laughs> costume that would be great perfect <laughs> halloween costume <laughs> I, love it. I think we pretty much covered most of the questions um yeah we can show oh, those prints again yeah that'd be great Caitlin. So our winner today is going to get their choice of the uh, Western tool. That's that one. Or the black Western print. Both very nice. Oh, and I have uh, one of my colleagues messaged me and she said, hey, you might want to take out my name to make sure that I don't win the blanket. Her name is Rachel Ann Cook. Um, so, hey, Rach. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. I'm not a winner. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to draw a winner. I don't see any other questions right now. If you guys do have any other questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and we'll get back to you. All right, All right. Melanie. So here's our winner. The winner today is Patty Sherbany. I hope I spelled <laughs> it right. I don't know. Woo! Congratulations, Patty. <laughs> there were, oh, wait, I forgot. There were a couple promotions happening on Valley yes. Bay. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah, everybody. Um, Valley Vet has some great promotions going on, um, specifically with the Essential and with the dog blankets. So with the Essential, um, you can get a free hay bag with certain prints. So that's really great news. And it's a standard hay bag made out of the same denier fabric um, that the 1200 is made or that the Essential is made out of. Um, and it's got the, the hole in the middle. So great for trailering, um, great for if you have a, a fast eater. Um, you might want to utilize a hay bag. And then we have a dog dog bowl promotion as well. So with uh, any of the Weather Vita dog blankets, you can get a free dog bowl. And they're really nice um, dog bowls. I have them. Obviously, my company makes them. So I have everything Weather Vita, right, in my house. But they are stainless steel, and they have silicone over them. 
with like a really cute little pattern cut into the silicone so that they're no slide. Um, they're, they're wonderful. They're fantastic. Cool. That, right. that was it. That's all I, that's all I got. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. And Patty, if you're still on here, go ahead and send us a message to claim your blanket, please. And join us again live in a couple of weeks. We won't be live next week, but we will be in a few weeks. So unless I surprise you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank, Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. Bye.